Whilst we're really MJ's was, and I thought so I'll be a sorry time about how her dresser decided to abuse me and cut my hair to the point where it was bald. Well, not technically abusive, but she, he was very abusive towards me. He decided to cut my hair to the point where it was literally so bald, and he decided to cut my hair as well to the point where I got cuts in my head, so that's how my experience with Barbershop went. Before we get to you guys, you don't like to subscribe to the channel, to the next video. And without further ado, guys, let's get right into this story. Okay, so I'm not, not going to say names because I don't want to actually ruin the company, but I'm going to get into the story time. So I was in Wales at the time on like a holiday or something, and I needed a haircut so bad, like my hair was actually so long. And I remember this family member going, do you want to go to like barbershop? Because I think he went there and he liked me and kind of a good experience of it. So I thought, you know what, I'll just go and try new things. I was literally like 12 at the time, so I was like, yeah, whatever. But literally walked in and as soon and as soon had like second thoughts because the outside of the bar was like a massive like abandoned pub kind of thing and it was all tatty and grubby and dirty outside so I had second thoughts about going in but I didn't want to actually judge it but quite so I thought you know I'll just go in and as soon as I walked in there was a smell of smoke and the hallway was actually kind of dirty and then I literally walked me further and this like bald man literally greeted me I was like hi I was like hi just very like, awkwardly kind of things like that so I literally had to sit and wait on the like, waiting area thing and the man was just like Put the cousin into the person's hair and then he literally called me forward. He was like, Hey you, come here now. And I was like, Okay. So she came into like the barber's chair thing and the man literally started going to his drawer for like tackle and like all his razors and like cutthroats and things like that. So he literally then laid it on like this like table thing and then that's when all the fun started. So he literally started like shaving all my hair, all the sides here, like as you do. And then, as he shaved, he got more aggressive with it, and he started making all these like, comments, like verbalising all these comments, like, effing hell, this hair is so knotty, what the actual F is this hair, this is so greasy, so dirty, how could you bring that to a barber shop? And I was just sat there trying to ignore him, I was like, well, he's probably having a bad day or something. So I was literally just uh, shaving all my hair off, while well, I even didn't, didn't even want my hair shaved off. And then he just stood there, just shaving my hair off. He literally shaved to the point where some of it started to cut in my skin. And when I told the man that I was getting cut in my skin, he was like, don't you effing tell me how to do my job. I just literally just sat there and so sort of scared because he told me that. And then he started continuing making degrading comments while making cuts onto my hair follicles. So he just stood there, just shaving my hair. And then he started bringing the cutthroat out. He literally got it out and like, so I started making like, because cutthroat is usually made like patterns and things like that. So, he started making like these patterns in my hair because he must have assumed that I wanted patterns in my hair because I had like 12 at the time. So here we go, he's making cutthroats in my hair. While in the process, cutting my hair, not my hair, but my hair follicles, making my skin bleed. And so there we go, he's doing that. And I couldn't actually tell him because I wanted to actually get yelled at by the man because at this point I was literally just like, I'll do whatever, they're just throwing shots at me. So yeah, it looked kind of really bad and I was literally so scared to go to school like the next few days after because of how bald it actually looks like. I literally looked so different. He literally made cuts to my skin, I was just scared out of my mind, and I just didn't want to go back to that barber's again because he was a total jerk. So I was kind of angry because of that when I walked out. I didn't get a full satisfaction, and I got charged full price for it, so even though he literally cut my skin, and so that was my experience as a barber. Now again, this video isn't meant, meant to make, it, make anyone be put out of a job or anything like that, it was just something that happened like a couple years ago, obviously the past and the past now, you know, so this person is, isn't actually to degrade anybody, it isn't, it isn't to degrade family member who's home to us as barbers. Like I said, he had a lovely experience when he was there, so he just thought that I might have a lovely experience there, but just didn't. But anyhow, he did, and he enjoyed his experience, so he decided to suggest going to the barbers to me and I just didn't like it. And this isn't also to me to put anyone out of a job either, so there's that. Anyway, that's my story now on that hairdresser experience. If you want to do that, if you like to see it, scratch out to the kitchen, to the video. Don't forget to watch for me on Instagram as well, or would rather for me, so I'm probably going to do YouTube, blah, 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 blah. And as always, guys, I've been Jay's World, you've been awesome, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.